Hey everybody. Well, uh, I'm finding that building custom circuit boards gets easier as you do it. Uh, a little bit of practice goes a long way, as they say. So this is the next custom circuit board we've made. This is for the electrical and water monitoring system. We've got DC power coming in, a 5 volt regulator, then we have a 12 volt bus. We have signals that are associated with that 12 volt bus. We have a, a 5 volt bus down here, an LED to make sure the board is on. Then we have the pins to go on the Arduino and the power pins to go on the Arduino as well. So <clears throat> it sits on here just like this. Pretty nice little thing. There we go. Set that on there. Boom. And then everything's going to plug in. So next I got to build uh, the board for the indoor outdoor sensor and I got to build all these cables. Uh, I hate cables. I hate cables. <laughs> Unnecessary evil. Anyway, this came together really nice. I, I'm really happy with this. So next one. Alright, so in the real world it's been quite a few days uh, since I've been able to get to the sensor build. I've been working on the water level, uh, the fish tanks, everything out there to make sure it's all working correctly. So I wanted to give you a quick update on where I'm at on these sensors. Uh, first, the uh, weather sensor is here. We've got our wind speed indicator, our wind vane to indicate wind direction as well as a uh, rain uh, monitoring device. So we can kind of, I want to start seeing what the dynamics are outside of the building and how that impacts everything inside. So, for example, when it's raining outside, how does that change? How does that correlate to temperature inside? I'm expecting to see it be cooler, of course, but I would just want to confirm all that. Wind speed, how does that change uh, the wind movement inside of the building as far as humidity goes? Because the building's not sealed, so I'd like to see that relationship. Uh, also, believe temperature, of course, will change. And most importantly, uh, the major reason for this is that we do have a cement slab pour to actually uh, put in a wind turbine uh, to further augment our power production, which would be great right now. I could really use it for heating in the winter. Um, sadly, I wasn't able to get this up last winter, but I want to see how much wind we actually have, and uh, then we can make a decision on getting uh, a wind tower or turbine or not. Um, right now, it actually seems like we get lots of wind during the summer, but we don't get hardly any wind during the winter, which is exactly the opposite of what we need. And then here, just uh, wind direction. Uh, pretty simple. Just want to know what's going on there. Um, another part of this sensor suite, we're actually going to be putting a, a temperature probe down into the digester. So did my best to make this cable waterproof. I did multiple. I had to do a, a multiple or some splicing on it. So I did multiple layers of heat shrink on it, three layers of heat shrink total uh, should make it really waterproof to uh, do the job there. We have our out, um, sorry, this is going to be the inside of the building temperature and humidity sensor, so we'll know what's happening inside of the building. Where is it at? There's another one floating around here somewhere that's actually going to go inside, um, or it'll go outside the building, so we'll know temperature and humidity outside the building as well. Now for each of these, uh, I've had to build custom circuit boards. So here with the custom cables, so here you're seeing this custom board. This is just basically a cable interface board. Uh, it sits on top of the Arduino and it's bringing all the sensor wires and everything uh, into the Arduino. This, uh, the weather station is going to be quite a ways away. So here's the cable bundle that I've built for it. It plugs in right here. So we'll have indoor uh, temperature and humidity. The weather station, which is temperature, humidity, wind direction, wind speed, and rain will all be coming through on this one connection. And then we have the uh, digester signal, uh, the temperature there. So worked on that. Um, oh, here we go. So that's what I was looking for. Too many wires here. So this is another interface board I had to create. I'm getting pretty good at creating these boards. Here we have the temperature and humidity sensor, and then we have the actual uh, wind vane, uh, I'm sorry, the rain measuring device as well as the wind vane and uh, the anemometer. So those are all coming in. And we have a little pigtail here, plugs in like so. And then this runs to the back 
of this guy right here, which then this box is where all this stuff sits inside of, and that's going to be mounted up towards the top of the building. So I've been working on that sensor, and I've also had to build a custom board. This is another custom board. Uh, this board actually goes, there's two of them. Uh, colors just changed because I ran out of proto board, so I had to order new ones. And uh, what these ones are going to do is they're actually going to have uh, fan control on it, so we can turn the fans on and off. We've added more fans. You're going to see that in an upcoming video. Uh, we're going to have a water sensor, a water flow sensor, so we actually know when the water is flowing in the building. Uh, last year, I almost uh, destroyed the whole thing because I accidentally left water running. And we're going to put some uh, uh, quite a few stopgap measures in, not stopgap, that's not the way we say it, uh, primary and backup and tertiary measures to make sure that water is never left running. Uh, of course, there's the good old fashioned, you should just turn water off. You should never run water if you're out there by yourself. Uh, and then we're going to have sensors that detect water flow and also a valve that will shut off. And if you lose power, the valve is just going to go off. So you can never accidentally have uh, water running because uh, our pumps, they, there's still pressure in the system even when the water goes out uh, until the pressure tank empties. So um, that's all going to be on here as well as um, an ultrasonic depth detector. This is going to detect the uh, depth of the fish tank, uh, the water level, I should say, so that we know when it needs to be filled. It can set off alarms, and then we can actually hit the fill button uh, through our uh, Android interface, our web interface, and fill the tank. Um, oh, and it's also going to have a power monitoring uh, station built into it, and then all the power is going to get monitored for each lane. I'm really excited about that one. I need to know how much power is actually being consumed in each lane so we can start thinking about a new light situation uh, solution as well as um, having the microgreen lanes uh, we've talked about. Those are going to get redone. I need to know exactly how much power is being consumed out there right now. So uh, this is what I've been working on. Got these boards built. Got the board built over here. Got the other board. So four boards total. And then I've been spending all day today building cables out for the weather station. Uh, in the next few days, I'll be getting to these two. These are exact duplicates, one for lane two, one for lane three, and i got to build all the cables and the interfaces for all that. So, uh, going to be quite a bit of work uh, going ahead, but uh, it's going to be worth it. I'm excited to get it all done. And essentially, when those things are finished, when these three sensor suites are done, um, then the only thing left for phase two, which is our automation phase, is to get the... Uh, web interface created. So I know some of you have offered to help. I really appreciate your uh, desire to help. If there are those of you out there who would like to help uh, write software for us on the G11 project, what we need help with right now is the user interface, uh, both on a website as well as an Android front. So if you know how to make really cool and amazing user interfaces and you would like to help us, uh, it's totally volunteer. Uh, would love to get your help. So reach out to me at trm at therealmartian.com and uh, we'll start up that conversation. In the meantime, everybody, hey, thanks for following along. Almost done with the sensors here. Uh, and then we'll be outdoors all for the rest of the year. And trust me, we got a lot of work to do out there. It's going to be fun and exciting. Hope you liked this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up, like us, uh, and then uh, on Facebook and Twitter, you can also subscribe to our channel. And uh, if you want to get notified, you can hit that little bell when you subscribe, but also uh, Facebook and Twitter are just a way better way to get notified than YouTube. So hope everyone has a great day. This is The Real Martian, out.